Let's continue our discussion of evaluating the slope of this graph y equals x squared at x equals 1 half. Now, how can we think about doing this? Well, how we can think about this is we're going to take the slope of the secant line, slope of this, let me draw this again, make, evaluate the slope of this secant line. We can evaluate the slope of this secant line. We can evaluate the slope of this second line, and we are going to get closer and closer. We're going to take limit of the slope of second line as the points are moving closer and closer to our point. And how are we going to do this mathematically? And that's, we're going to attempt to write this down mathematically and evaluate it in this video. Now let's say this point, now let's say this point, the x coordinate is 1 half plus delta x. It's 1 half plus delta x. We have to move delta x or change in x from 1 half. Now what's going to be the y coordinate of this point? Well, the y coordinate of this point, we can plug 1 half plus delta x into y equals x squared to find the y coordinate and 1 half plus delta x squared is going to be 1 fourth plus delta x plus delta x squared. So that's going to be the y coordinate of this point. Let me write that down. This coordinate, the x coordinate is 1 half plus delta x. The y coordinate is 1 fourth plus delta x plus delta x squared. Now, now how, so what's the slope of the second line that's going, that's going through these two points? Well, the slope of the second line is change in y over change in x. And change in y is going to be this thingy minus our 1 fourth. So it's going to be 1 fourth plus delta x plus delta x squared, which is this red distance, and 1 fourth is this distance. So if we, do sub if we subtract 1 fourth, we are going to be able to get delta y or this distance. That's going to be delta y. And delta x, how much we changed from 1 half is going to be delta, delta x. So let's evaluate this. Well, 1 fourth minus 1 fourth cancels out. So we have delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. And that's going to be the slope of our second line. And what we want to do, we want to put this point ever so closer to our original point. And how we can do that is by decreasing delta x. If delta x is 1, we are 1 away from 1 half. If delta x is 1 half, we are 1 half away from 1 half. If delta x is 0 0.00001, we are very close to 1 half. And the slope of second line is going to give a very good approximation of the slope of tangent line, which we are trying to find. So what we can do to find the slope of tangent line is to take the limit as delta x is approaching zero of our slope of secant line, we are going to take the limit, see what this is approaching as delta x is getting very, very small, and our point is closer and closer to 1 half. Well, that's going to be limit as delta x approaches zero of slope of second line, which is delta x plus delta x squared over delta x, which is going to be dividing by delta x to both of them, we get 1 plus delta x. And uh, since delta x is getting closer and closer to 0, we can plug delta x equals 0 into delta x, and that's going to give us 1 plus 0, or 1. And that's going to be the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 half, because that's what the slope of second line is approaching as you're getting closer and closer to our point 1 half, 1 fourth. 